This is a rather unusual item you won't see every day. I'll uh, let you take a guess before I tell you what it is. The number of it's a 6809. I don't know. It's a little clearer on this side. Um, let's open it up and look inside. There it is. Here's a close up view of it. I put this uh, wire around it and soldered it on there. This is obviously an electrical component. Okay, have you guessed? It is an infrared photomultiplier tube from a submarine periscope. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, made for uh, night vision um, and they were inserted in the uh, uh, periscope of a submarine. Uh, I applied one. I have a device down here where I actually uh, put one to use. Let me show you that. I made my own night scope out of plumbing parts. Uh, an old camera lens up here. Uh, this was a eyepiece out of something. I don't remember what it was. Um, and some electronics I bought off the internet, as I, if I recall correctly. This thing runs on 3,500 volts. It'll run on less, but uh, yeah, so I'll open this up. I guess I should show you this. This is the lens, so it's just a normal camera lens I, I adapted to here. Um, it comes off. You can see the photomultiplier tube inside there. And yeah, so let's open up the electronics and take a look at that. This is the power supply. I made a note to myself that it runs off of 9 to 18 volts DC, one 9 volt battery. I quit using the tube because the power supply was leaking. It was shorting itself out. But as you can see, it's pretty simple. It's an oscillating circuit transformer and then a capacity to step up and then the high power goes up to the tube and there's two points on the tube. If I recall correctly, I think it's 3500 volts, something in that range. So, that's it for the power supply. Not much to it. So this is what it looks like. I'm actually not pushing the button right now. You push it once and it runs for quite a while just on the capacity of charge. Um, what we're looking at is that window over there. And this is what it looks like through the night vision. Well, that was it for this video. Just something kind of unusual, out of the ordinary. I hope you found it interesting and perhaps even useful in your electronics or optical experiments. 